a member of parliament uh, going to court to compel the uh, opposition leader, Raila Odinga, to uh, basically uh, participate in the election. But that continues, and you have the whole story on the Daily Nation as well. But let's move on to page four. And this is to do with the push that uh, NASA has. And this is uh, for injured as supporters uh, step up demo disruption and uh, disrupting business in the city. And it is, well, as much as, as per the Constitution, picketing is allowed, but it's not supposed to infringe on others' rights. However, uh, uh, demonstrations by nature are disruptive. Yes. Whether they will disrupt uh, traffic, whether they will stop normalcy as we know it, they are disruptive by nature. But, of course, now they're going to be scaled up according to a notice given by NASA from just two days to three days. So yesterday was Monday. Another protest is expected on Wednesday and on Friday. Uh, should the uh, uh, some of the demands that nasa is making not be met yes certainly so and uh, the nature of picketing and demonstration true it is uh, uh, very disruptive, disruptive. Mm. and even uh, one of my colleagues in the office was painting a hypothetical situation asking himself what if uh, the police forces uh, they make a reapproachment with the NASA supporters and say okay all that you want is to demonstrate then come we are going to escort you in a convoy take you to the anniversary towers, give you time, make your point, uh, seeing if you have to dance, address the press, and thereafter, then disperse. disperse. Will that be possible? So, but it is uh, very difficult in a situation whereby you have also seen the emergence of amorphous groups which have come up to counter some of this demonstration. And it's also not very clear why... Um, uh, like, for example, the incidents which happened yesterday, uh, where the motorist who allegedly had shot a demonstrator had to again now uh, endanger the lives of other peacefully demonstrating uh, citizens, uh, citizens mm -hmm. by just driving recklessly. So I think uh, it is a good thing that so far, save for the ugly incidences of yesterday, the unfortunate incidences even in uh, Kisumu where a business promise, uh, premises was allegedly was broken into. Broken into. Mm -hmm. I think politics being as it is right now, it's incumbent upon the leadership mm -hmm. of this political party to urge their supporters mm. to desist from actions of looting, from actions of violence. And we saw the other time the deputy governor of uh, Kisumu came out strongly mm -hmm. and said that they're talking to their supporters, urging them to desist from any destruction of property. Mm -hmm. And also, I think the same caution should be given to the police. Remember last time when, uh, after the declaration of results, last time on August 8th, some of the police who were put on duty to manage these strikes if you have chased people out of the road, then is there any legitimacy for you to follow them up to their homes? No. Yeah? Mm. There is no that justification. So I think the duty is on both the police and the citizens to make sure that both operate within their parameters. But still, true as it is, disruptive, the state is in, an, is, is in a state of uncertainty. Uh, people